The immediate worry is the fate of the global economy. The punishing sanctions will turn Russia into a global economic pariah. But how will it impact the rest of the world? For instance, what happens to Russia's external borrowings? If Moscow cannot pay its creditors, there could be a financial meltdown. And this meltdown will not be limited to Russia. Banks in the US and Europe are also exposed to Russian bonds. This report tells you how a Russian default would play out. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has disrupted the global economy. Stock markets are reeling. The price of oil continues to fluctuate. Western sanctions have had a deep impact. Moscow is staring at a default. This week, Russia must pay its creditors at least $117 million. The deadline is Wednesday. Russia has the money to pay, but it cannot use it. Russia had more than $640 billion in its reserves before the war. The sanctions have cut off access to half of it. That's around $300 billion. Russia says it can make the payment in rubles. That's the Russian currency. But the bond contractors prevent Moscow from doing that. The payment must be made in dollars. A default looks imminent. World Bank's chief economist, Carmen Reinhardt, says Moscow is mightily close to one. Ratings agencies like Moody's and S&P have downgraded Russian bonds. They have been labeled as junk. The Russian finance ministry says the West is engineering an artificial default. Western powers are punishing Russia's economy for invading Ukraine. But sanctions cut both ways and threaten Western economies too. Russia's external liabilities stand at about $480 billion. Out of this, $135 billion is used to creditors this year alone. Corporate debt is another worry. Russian entities owe more than $121 billion to international banks. Major countries have exposure to Russian debt. Banks in the United States are owed almost $15 billion. European banks need to be paid $84 billion. In this pile, France, Italy and Austria have the maximum exposure. Who will suffer the losses if Russia fails to pay? Leading international banks will lose money. We're talking about names like Goldman Sachs. As of December 2021, it had an exposure of $650 million. Citigroup is owed around $10 billion. French bank Société Générale needs to be paid almost $21 billion. BMP Paribas invested both in Russia and Ukraine. It is owed more than $3 billion. Credit Suisse is owed more than $1 billion. In 2008, the global economic crisis began with defaults at major banks. 14 years later, the sanctions on Russia are raising fears of another recession. Inflation is already rising. In the U.S., inflation is at the highest in four decades. In the Eurozone, inflation is already touching 6%, which is a record high. The West is mulling more sanctions on Russia. It must brace for the fallout on the global economy. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.